I'm a big fan of films with a lot of repetition. I love things like Groundhog Day and Happy Death Day and Christmas versions. There are several Christmas films where Christmas is repeated again and again. And that's obviously certainly the case with the 1996 film Christmas Every Day. This is directed by Larry Pierce, written by Stephen Alex and or Alex and Nancy Silvers. And stars Robert Hayes as Henry, Bess as Molly, uh, Bess Armstrong as Molly, and uh, Eric Von Dett and Billy Jackson, and Yvonne Zuma as Sarah, and together they make a pretty wonderful family. I have to say I really like their family unit. That is something that I found enjoyable with this. Billy as a protagonist is... Um, it took me a while to get on board with him. And I think it's because... It took me. It took the narrative a while to get anywhere. Billy is not the biggest fan of Christmas. He is a teenager. He gets bullied a bit. He's not very good at basketball, uh, or at least he can't do a jump shot. And there are other issues just in his life. And he's just fed up with Christmas. And for one reason or another, and I won't spoil it, his younger sister makes a wish and wishes that Christmas was every day. And naturally, as you can expect, Christmas then becomes every day. And Billy is the only one who is aware of this. And he tries to work out why it's happening, how to make it stop, and then how to take advantage of the situation. And I really like that. I thought that was, um, you know, once it actually got going, the narrative spoke for itself and it worked well. But it was very slow. The film is a standard hour and a half, give or take. And I'd say it took a good 25 minutes for it to get anywhere. Now, not always a bad thing to have a long setup because sometimes it's necessary to get to know the characters before we can truly understand their actions once the Groundhog Day aspect kicks in. But with this one, it just felt really unnecessary. So I think we could have cut out a little bit from the beginning and it would have been just as good. It's not the most festive, despite the fact that it's Christmas every day. Um, you know, the house isn't covered in decorations. There are carolers, and I do like the songs. It has a very nice soundtrack. There is a Christmas pageant. Christmas pageants are not a thing in the UK, and I really wish they were because they look so brilliant and festive, and I would definitely go to them all. Not the most festive, despite the fact that it is Christmas every day. But there's a lot of snow. The music is very nice. It's got a pretty decent atmosphere. In terms of the narrative development, not a lot happens differently on each day. I feel like they could have mixed things up a bit. One of, I, I, basically, one of the times the day repeats itself, I feel, was unnecessary. I can't remember how many times Billy wakes up on Christmas morning. Let's say it's five times. It should have just done it four. Or however many times was just one too many where nothing changed and we didn't get a fresh perspective or a different action. But ultimately, I liked the way it concluded. I thought the messages were good. Very family-oriented, very much about spending time with your family and looking at the true meaning of Christmas and suggesting that once you discover the true meaning of Christmas, I don't mean the religious aspect, I mean the other aspect that non-religious people focus on, um, the holiness, being thankful and spending time with your family, Christmas takes on a different meaning and that's a pretty powerful message that they deliver well. I'd certainly recommend it if you're looking for a Christmas film that you've not seen. I'd say it's pretty good. There are actually some really interesting supporting characters. There are two neighbours that we get to know a little bit and I really like both of them. They're both pretty well developed characters and really fascinating and actually I would have liked to have seen a bit more of them but it wasn't underdone. I just really liked them. So it's not my favourite um, Groundhog Day-esque Christmas film. There are some others that I like. Um, maybe just as much, if not more. But, yeah, I, I'm pretty, pretty pleased to say that it's absolutely worth watching. And it's not one that... It's not one that I would kind of watch every single Christmas. But I'd say maybe every couple of years. It's definitely got a nice message. Quite magical. Pretty happy to recommend it.